Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So this is the angle you're going to see me um, today because I want to focus on what I'm doing and not me for a change, right? <laughs> anyway, so anyway, I'm going to be making uh, aloe vera gel DIY. So I have two right here, but um, I'm only going to use one. I've washed it. And I'm going to, the first thing I'm going to do is cut off the ends, which, is this shaking? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to cut off the ends, and um, so I want to have that, um, what is that, latex down and at the bottom, because they say that it's poison. See, it's coming out now. All right, so... I'm going to cut this aloe vera up. I'm going to put it in some water so the latex could thoroughly seep through. Seep out. I mean, you're supposed to put it in water for, I'm just going to do three pieces. And the water is right here. I'm just going to put it down in there. So, see the water is clear. I'm just going to put it down in there, so I probably should have cut it up a little more. So, um, all of the latex can seep out. I'm going to cut it up a little more so it can fit in that, in the bowl. Aloe vera is great for everything. <laughs> I don't know what thing is not good for. Do you? No, you don't. So anyway, um... I am myself I'm particularly particularly using aloe vera for my hair. So I can oh what are they fixing in there? It smells good. Anyway, um <laughs> anyway, um for my hair. Uh anyway, I'm going to let that sit for you, they say you're supposed to let it sit for at least 30 minutes and um I'm going to let that sit for 30 minutes then I'll be back. All right, so I'm taking the aloe vera out, and you can see the difference in the water. So what I'm going to do now is, try not to cut myself, <laughs> I'm going to take the stems off, which are very sharp, pointy, and sharp, well to me they are anyway. I'm going to uh, peel it so I can spoon out the, the aloe vera, which is right in here. Aloe vera is, like I said, aloe vera is good for everything, anything. <laughs> I don't know one person who, um, well, I haven't seen, and they are slippery, so it's best to, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut half uh, the peeling off, and then I'm going to spoon it out, because, yeah, I'm a little clumsy sometimes. Don't say nothing, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm just going to spoon out the aloe vera, aloe vera, what is that? The aloe vera, put it in, um, put it in the uh, bowl that I have prepared for that. And yeah, these little pointy spikes, yeah, they are vicious, <laughs> they are. So anyway, I'm going to save the uh, the peeling, and I'm going to show you guys on another at another time what I'm going to be doing with that. So anyway, um, aloe vera is good for your hair, your skin. Seriously, um, I am so surprised. I haven't um, tried the aloe vera. The uh, the fresh aloe vera. I don't know why I keep calling it Ellie, Ellie, whatever I'm calling it. Not the correct pronunciation, right? <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to move these. They still have aloe vera on, oh, I said it right that time, on some of them, but okay. So I'm going to show you guys um, what I'm going to do. Yeah, you guys be careful with that because they it is really slippery some people use a knife but yeah I'm using a spoon so I could just get all of that out all that goodness 
that's how it looks. Smoon it out. And then I'm going to show you guys um how to uh girl, you act like you can't walk in two bubble gum at the same time. I laugh at myself all the time. <laughs> so anyway. Um, what was that saying? Um, yes, yeah, slimy. It reminds me so much of uh, okra. Did I tell you guys about the time where I was... I, didn't, I don't like okra. And, um... And my everybody in my family knew that. So I have a sister who's a great cook. I went by one of her. Uh, I went by her house. Her name is Ethel. Ethel B. Hey Ethel B. Um, I um went by her house and she had fixed some um, greens. Oh God! I think everybody on my channel know how I love me some greens, especially mustard greens. And she had to fix some greens. Baby, I was ready. So I went sat down and uh, started to eat my greens and cornbread. And I said, mmm. <laughs> I said, mmm. This tastes real good. And so I looked at it. You know, like a lot of people do look at their food. I said, what is this in here? I seen a little, like a little brown, uh, reddish brown specks. And she said, oh, that's okra. I say what? But you know, once you you find out about something that you claim you don't like, then you're gonna stop eating it. But all along, you were eating it right until you find out it's something in there that you don't like. So I'm talking my head off. So I probably fast forward this. And I say oh, okay. But I still don't eat okra. I just don't like the. Uh, I cannot deny it's a good taste, but I just don't like the slime part of it. And I, I think that's why I had been reluctant about uh, the fresh aloe vera, the slime part. I know, I know. But yeah, that's just me. You know. Okay, so this must be the last piece. All right. See, see, slumber, slippery, not slumber, slippery, slippery little buggers. Yes, they are slippery and good. So I have to hold on. I have to put my nail down in here, and it's still slippery to keep it from slipping out of my right there. God dog it. <laughs> I'm just looking forward to the benefits, you know, the benefits, <coughs> the road, the um, the end of the road always the, the road to get there. And this definitely always what I'm going through right now. That I'm, I'm pretty positive this is why I hadn't dealt with fresh aloe vera before, you know, but, you know, c'est la vie. So anyway, oh my God. excuse the noise, y'all know that's the ball in there, I don't see any more, I have a towel right here when I'm wiping my hands on, so anyway, this is how the aloe vera looks, in its natural form. I put my head back in that again. <laughs> so anyway, what I'm going to do now is you can either just mix it up with a fork um, or you can put it in the processor like I'm going to do because it's much easier that way. And you still have fresh aloe vera, right? Right. All right. So I'm just going to pour it in there.
Okay, so I'm going to mix it up. Looks like it's partly mixed. But looks can be deceiving, right? So what I'm going to do is all right i'm going to take this out i'm going to strain this it's just in the event that there is stale clumps i'm going to strain it to make sure so i'm just taking one of my old stocking caps and putting and you know put it do the work mm -hmm. since i am uh, a truckload of them. I'm not using them much in, right now. Won't say any more, but I'll say right now. All right, just pour it in here. Oh, I have a little thing. Hmm. All right, let's put it back. Let's pour it in there. So the, I was going to say the juice, the aloe vera can ooze out, or I can squeeze it out. But it's oozing out now, as you can see down in the bottom, it's coming through. So I think I will squeeze it out, help it out a bit, there we go. Get all the goodness out. We don't leave no one left behind. Nothing good left behind. All right. So it's pretty much, I got all the goodness out. And this is what was left. All right. Let's put that there. So what I'm going to do, and I'll wipe my hands first. I'm going to add, this is not um, mandatory, I mean it's completely up to the individual. I'm just going to add some grapeseed oil to mine, and a little uh, tea tree oil, just a little bit, because both of these uh, essential oils are great for your hair and your scalp. And, excuse me, and um, I love the smell of tea tree oil. I just love it. Um, uh, uh, aloe vera really helps uh, the penetration of a uh, product of the aloe vera in your scalp. It opens up the cuticles in your hair, permits hair growth, hair strengthening, and hair thickening. Because mine definitely need thickening, girl, yes. So anyway, um... This is how I make my um, my aloe vera gel. I'm just going to stir it up a bit. And there we go. It smells so good. Smell that tea tree oil. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably I'm going to put it in the dropper. Um, I'm going to use a dropper. I've seen ladies use spray bottles, okay, to each his own, but I'm going to put some of mine in the dropper because it, that would be easier for me if I can get it in here. I'm just going to do a little bit. And it's not as uh, slippery and slimy anymore as it was because you, you know, you pureed it. There we go. What did I do with the drop? <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to use this on my scalp. And, people, that is how I make my aloe vera. 
my fresh aloe vera gel. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of video. I can't wait to use this. If you like this type of video, um, let me know down in the comment section. If you, you know, if you ever tried the, oh, it's making my hair so soft. Okay. They say it's good from conditioner. It has many nutrients in it, many vitamins, A, C, E, all kind of stuff, you know. So, um, I'm loving that. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much. If you, um have any ideas or something you want would like for me to see you know put it down in the comment section I'm always open to ideas of and what you guys would like to see on my channel so um, don't forget to uh, excuse me anyway don't forget to share um, like I said give this video a thumbs up uh, subscribe if you haven't already I hope all of you are well and blessed and, and just enjoying life having a one I hope you all are having a wonderful blessed day living this best life and I'll see you guys on my next video I hope I didn't forget anything I will put all of um, well, how I did my videos I guess in the description box below if I don't forget so anyway thank you guys I love all of you so much and I'll see you in my next video bye